Who is the perfect friend? The Holy Bible Proverbs 18 verse 24 says, There are friends who pretend to be friends, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Would you like to have a perfect friend? A friend who loved you no matter what you did. A friend who would always be there when you needed them. A friend who knew you intimately yet still loved you. A friend who always encouraged you and never put you down. A friend who was smart but not conceited. A friend who had no personal problems to distract them. A friend who was powerful and famous, yet down to earth and approachable. A friend who is righteous yet merciful to others. A friend who never makes a mistake. A friend who enjoyed having a good time and sharing a laugh with you. A friend who had the knowledge and ability to help you with everything. A friend who is not too good to wash your feet or clean your toilet, yet talented enough to be the best at everything. A friend who puts your interests ahead of their own. A friend who loves you more than you love yourself. A friend who would be willing to die for you. There is only one. His name is Jesus, and he wants to be your friend. Say this, Jesus is my friend. In John chapter 15 verse 15. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends. The above verse is a beautiful assurance that even though it appears that our Lord is the King and we are his subjects, he is the Master and we are his servants, he has exalted us to the rank of a friend. Jesus exemplified the concept of friendship while here on earth. When Jesus lived amongst his disciples, he was more like a friend to them than a master. He never claimed supremacy over them, but always treated them with love and respect. Even though his disciples were always in awe of him, our Lord Jesus Christ continued in modesty and humility. In fact, Jesus even washed the feet of his disciples thereby proving that he had not come in the capacity of a master but a friend who does not hesitate to serve his loved ones. Lord Jesus hung out with his disciples on numerous occasions. They would eat together, sail together and perform miracles together. Our Lord continues to be our friend even though he is seated above. We have all been given an up-close and exclusive access to him. How we use this privilege is up to us. It would be quite right to say that we can all do with a friend like Jesus in our lives. If we allow him into our lives, he promises to be our favorite confidant and our best friend. He is a friend that we can count on, at all times. He guarantees his availability in times of trouble and distress and assures deliverance. Let us make a commitment today that we will invite him as a friend in every area of our lives so that God can in turn reveal his trustworthy and friendly nature for all to see and experience. Christship is the new friendship. Amen. Jesus bless you. The best is yet to come.